Hi everyone, I hope you are having great day today and welcome back to my new video. On this tutorial, I'm gonna show you eSign Ultimate Side Loading Guide and Fix Revoked eSign when installing IPA file. This side loading method has worked for long periods of time without any app limits and without a PC. Basically, many anti-revoked DNS for eSign and Scarlet are made by Vietnamese people and I also use anti-revoke, but it is not secure enough and not powerful enough. It turns out I found a tutorial on the GitHub page on how to create anti-revoke DNS for Ezine, Scarlet, or Feather easily and safely using DNSIO. Okay, let's continue with the tutorial. Please go to the DNSIO official website, then log in or sign up if you are a new user. Go to the Denialist tab and add the following domains. Please enter the Apple domains one by one into the Denialist tab. This domain is useful for blocking the Apple network or bypassing revoked certificates for Assign or Scarlet. After you have added all the domains to the deny list, then go to the Allow List section and add the following domain. DNS anti revoke for Assign or Scarlet is ready to use. After that, go to the Setup tab, find and click on the hyperlinked apple.nextdns.io, which should redirect you to the Nexins profile website. Then create the name and click on Download, and the profile should be imported into Settings automatically. Now open Settings and go to General. VPN and Device Management, and install the downloaded profile. The DNS should now automatically be enabled. Do not change the DNS settings to automatic, otherwise your apps will get revoked. DNSIO is official and legal, so you don't need to be afraid of privacy. Now DNS is ready to use. Next step, you can install Sign or Scarlet. You can visit this website to install eSign or Scarlet directly. Click menu on the top, then click resource. Here I will try to install Assign first. I will try the Assign link randomly, whether this DNS works to bypass revoked Assign or not. Click install and see the results on your home menu. As you can see, he signed successfully installed on my device. If you see untrusted developer, it means the DNS is fully working on my device. For the next proof, I will try to install Scarlet on the website. Click Scarlet installation and wait after it downloaded successfully. And yeah, Scarlet working on my device as well. If you see untrusted developer, it means the DNS is fully working on my device. Before using Assign, you must download and import certificate into Assign app. Go back to the website and download zip file certificate for Assign. For the next step, Verify the apps on settings. General, VPN, and device management. Then click trust the assign app that want to use. After verifying, now you can open and use assign. Now open assign app again. Click three dots on the top, then click import. Find the certificate zip file that you downloaded earlier. After imported, click the file and click unzip. Then you will see a lot of certificate file. Please use the certificate what you want. Click that and select import certificate management. Now, Assign is ready to install IPA files. 
you can add eSing IPA library source. So you no longer need to download IPA manually on the internet. Go back to the previous GitHub page, then scroll down and look at the assigned source section. Copy the code, then go to the App Store tab in eSign, click the App Source button, then paste the code you copied on the GitHub page earlier. And automatically the IPA library for assign will be added. Please select one of the sources and select the app you want to install. Then click download. After the download is complete, go back to home assign. Then you will find the download folder. Go to the folder and click the app icon. Then select import to app library. Then open app tab of assign. Click the app icon and click signature. And the last, click install. The app will automatically install to your device. Now you can open the app without revoke and without limit. You can also install IPA files manually or get them via the IPA library source. For a complete tutorial about custom owned DNS, you can see it on the GitHub page. I will insert the link in the description of this video. I made this video and it was proven successful using DNSIO. Safe and free. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you need a help, leave your comment below or join to our Telegram group discussion. See you on the next video.